Afternoon, I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Monday, May the 2nd. Well, the week got off to a spicy start this morning when Connor Eldridge, a Democratic candidate for United States Senate, issued a news release and posted a video ad that's going to be on Facebook and elsewhere, hitting his uh, Republican incumbent opponent, John Bozeman, pretty hard. Very simple ad, very effective ad. He has a number of clips of awful things Donald Trump has said about women. Then a voiceover of Bozeman saying he's going to vote for the Republican candidate, whoever it is, including Donald Trump, because surely that candidate would be better than Hillary Clinton. This certainly will contribute to the gender gap that almost certainly will exist for a Donald Trump candidacy in Arkansas. But that gender gap also might mean a favoritism among male candidates for somebody like Donald Trump in Arkansas. He certainly was popular in the Republican primary. So we'll see if, if Eldridge has found an angle to make to close some ground with Bozeman, who's not particularly well known, kind of hard to hit simply because he isn't well known. But going after him and standing up for Donald Trump, could Donald Trump be the Barack Obama of this year's presidential race? We'll see. Meanwhile, Ted Cruz, who's still hanging on, hoping to overcome Donald Trump in the Republican presidential primary, is reaching out to Arkansas convention delegates, hoping to line them up as backup if Trump doesn't make a first vote victory. Interestingly enough, we happened to run into French Hill, the second district congressman from Little Rock at lunch today in a casual conversation. It was his prediction that Trump will make it uh, to the nomination on the first ballot and all this work by Cruz in the background won't be useful. He didn't say, by the way, he was for or against either. That was just his prediction. At the state capitol today, news came from Governor Asa Hutchinson's office that Michael Lamoureux, his chief of staff, will be leaving at the end of May. This has been a source of some speculation for some time. Uh, Lamro's future is unclear. His replacement is unclear. Lamro became associated, at least indirectly, uh, with some of the ongoing scandal mongering at the Capitol when there was a report by AP's Claudia Lauer about consulting money he re received from a conservative lobbying group while he was a member of the state senate. Some of the same characters involved with that have been involved in, in some sketchy contributions to judicial candidates. been some speculation that Lamoureux was at least involved with this group, if not in an illegal fashion, at least in, in a friendly fashion on some of their objectives. More to be known on that in the weeks and days ahead, I'm certain. Johnny Key, the state education commissioner, is going to get grilled by Joyce Elliott and other legislators this afternoon at the Capitol. He still has a lot to answer for over his firing of Baker Curris as Little Rock School Superintendent. He fired him because Baker spoke up against charter school expansion, something that Johnny Key supports. Key fired him six days after Baker went public with some strong documented reasons why charter schools should not be allowed to expand, and Little Rock Key's education department was all for it. Paul McCartney was in North Little Rock over the weekend, played to a packed house at Verizon Arena, and there was a touching moment. He uh, added Blackbird, one of their famous hit songs, to the lineup, said it was encouraged by the civil rights movement of the 1960s, and particularly the things that happened in Little Rock. He greeted two members of the Little Rock Nine, Thelma Mothershed Ware and Elizabeth Eckford, uh, before his conference for, for an audience with him. It was, a, it was a touching moment. The Arkansas Arts Center says it's going to have a famous visitor beginning May 24th, a full-length Renoir painting of a French actress that's been at the Columbia Museum of Art. We're going to get on, on exchange for several months while we send a Diego Rivera up to them. And finally, for you old heads like me in town, they're going to tear down the IHOP at University Avenue and Markham Street. Not to worry, the IHOP owners are going to put in a new, a new uh, similar restaurant in its place, but a lot of memories are going to go with that at least 45-year-old structure. I'm Max Brantley with Arkansas Times. I'll be back tomorrow. You feel it in your heart, the spirit of Little Rock. We've had that spirit since 1927, helping build our city by producing decades of leaders in the heart of our state. We are the heart of business and innovation, the heart of politics and government, the heart of arts and culture, and in our city beats the heart of a Trojan. UALR, we are Little Rock's team and Little Rock's university.